Great, so let's talk about lights and blueprints. So these, all these little spotlights you can see here uh, are blueprints, which would be a little bit like uh, the luminaires if we have, if you've used 3ds Max before. I'm sure there's this kind of thing before in, in all uh, software packages, but basically this gives us the um, possibility to have a mesh and a spotlight in um, inside a um, placeholder, which is the blueprint is in this instance. So the great thing about the blueprints is that we can also expose some parameters here in the detail, detail panel. So that's what we are going to look at. So here you see that I, uh, I can sort of massively increase the intensity of this light here. And if I even, um, go apply instance change to blueprint it will change all of my uh, light sources to that in insanely high uh, value okay so maybe I should put it back because it was rather too high and so that's a nice quick way to propagate to all the um, the changes to all the blueprints in the scene uh, and then obviously they are a bit like light instances so I could sort of you know change some of them individually if I wanted to you know maybe change color to horrible bright green <laughs> so uh, this is very very practical so let's have a quick look of um, how we can do that Alright, so I'm going to create a new, uh, I'm here in my blueprints folder where I've got the this spot here. I'm going to create a new version right next to it. So I'll just create a blueprint class here and click on actor. And I'll just leave that default name. You can rename it to anything you'd like. And in here, I'm going to, in the viewport, I'm just very simply going to add a static mesh. And in that, so I'm just going to call that spot. Um, logo tech. That's the name of the spot. And in the static mesh, uh, in the details panel, I'm going to assign it that mesh which was that logo tech spot okay so we, here we've got it so in fact here that was done a bit uh, sloppily and there isn't a material or a set of materials i material ids um with a spot so really we should have some materials but you'll do that properly in yours hopefully so next thing we're going to add in a uh, spotlight so I'll just click spotlight in here and we've got our spotlight. Super easy. And I'll just place that quickly in the right uh, face it, make let it face the right direction. More or less. And move that down a little bit. Okay, uh, that should be um, all right for now. No need to fiddle too much. I'll put the intensity. So let's compile and save this. And I'm going to drag one in the scene straight away and see what. Okay, well, we can just leave this for now. You know, obviously, you can completely tog. Um, um, play around with the settings here maybe that's just too too bright maybe half that but we'll just see and then um, we can just let's just have it a little bit red or let's let's just bring them over this uh, over this area say Okay, 
So this is our new um, blueprint that we've created. And so now what we want to do is have the, um, the, the whatever it is that we want to expose really any um, uh, parameters here in the details panel. So let's go back into our blueprint. We've got our light here. And let's just go into the construction script panel here. And we see we've got this uh, node um, already here. That's So that's useful. And so here I'm going to um, add a set light intensity um, in here. And actually, as I just saw it right next to it, I'll put that already. Set light color. So we've already got these two. Put in, let's have a bit more room in there. And so that's, and so we've got our spotlight and this spotlight refers to this spotlight. So that's um, already put in. So that's really um, useful. And then so we, what we're going to do is just plug this script in here and then plug this script in there. So when the um, blueprint fires, then this is going to run and um, build if you want the uh, blueprint and display all the this parameters on the details panel, but we're not done yet. So um, what we need to do now is set this new intensity. And um, the easy way to do this is to say promote to variable here. So we drag out. And here, I'm going to give that a name. Right, intensity. And I'm going to make that editable. Okay, and then now, so now you see a little uh, eye there, which is half happy because I need to put it a tooltip. So, set it. Intensity. Okay, and now the light, uh, the eyes turn green, so all is good. And if I compile, you'll see that here we've got the default value light intensity, which has appeared after I've compiled. So I need to do that, and I'll enter a default value for the light intensity. Okay, and so I'll do the same thing for the light color. And I'll here say promote to variable. And instead of calling new var, I'll call it color. Say that editable. And for the light. And all is good. Compile. And here I'll just give it a default. Of warm, not black. Okay, great. Compile and save. And so this is our new blueprint. Well, we've got one here already. I'll put one up soon. So actually the value was 2,500, wasn't it? So let's try that. And there you go. So the two have um, changed, changed um, accordingly. So that's good. Let's just try a crazy color. both and obviously if I select them like you know a normal light I can sort of change these colors 
um, more interactively uh, like this. So great. So that's uh, that's pretty straightforward. That's I think that can come in really handy, really useful um, <clears throat> in ways to manage very large amounts of lights like we have this, like we have here.